Welcome guys to another episode of Trash or Pass where we see if a game is worth your hard earned money or deserves to be thrown in the trash. Today we're going to be looking at Sea of Thieves so let's have a look at what the devs have to say about this. Sea of Thieves offers the essential pirate experience from sailing and fighting to exploring and looting. Everything you need to live the pirate life and become a legend in your own right with no set roles. You have complete freedom to approach the world and other players however you choose. So before we begin, the game was actually released in April of 2017 and it actually had a really big following when it first dropped. But because the game didn't have too much to offer at the time, the player base drops off really quick, me being one of them. So as I have played this from day one and I've followed the game throughout the years and I play it a lot in the past year or two, I feel I'm well equipped to give my verdict on how it currently stands in 2020. So let's hop into it. I'm playing this on PC. Uh, it is available on the Xbox as well. I'm running it on a 1080 Ti and I've had no issues at all. I don't think I've ever had an issue running this game. It always runs perfectly, never noticed any crazy frame drops or anything like that. So that's all good. So as I did say, it was released in 2017 and there was a lot of hype around this game, but it lost it all really quick. And one of the reasons was it just felt like a really early access game and there wasn't too much to do you could you know you could find a treasure map you know where x marks the spot get some treasure you could fight other players but that was kind of all there was to it and it got boring pretty quickly so what has changed and what have they added well it's kind of a massive list there are now numerous quests you can choose from from finding buried treasure to fighting skeleton bosses to literally just transporting goods from one outpost to another. They have mini bosses which will randomly spawn around you, megalodons, krakens, ghost ships, they'll all drop loot which you can sell. They have world bosses, a big dude called Flameheart which will spawn a whole fleet of ghost ships that you're going to have to take down. They have forts where you will take wave after wave of skeletons, you've got to defeat them all. They will drop a key at the end of it and you can open a vault which will be like right rammed full of goodies for you to sell there's a story mode now which is really good there's achievements there's collectibles there's an arena mode for the crazy hardcore pvpers there's new daily weekly and monthly events like it's crazy there is so much more that i've probably just missed off the list but it finally feels like a game it's it's full of life it feels like a complete game and Honestly, I'm going to do a massive shout out to the dev team. They're doing an incredible job. They do monthly updates every single month without fail, adding new stuff, adding new events, getting rid of all the bugs. This is during the, obviously they're all working from home because of coronavirus. So they are still managing to push out all this content. If you compare this dev team to, you know, other dev teams of similar sized games, they are just like in a league of their own. I just want to say GG guys, like well done. So what do you actually do in this game? Well, it's an open world, free to roam sort of deal. Honestly, you just make your own adventures and you make memories. I have so many stories that I could tell you. I could go on for hours of telling you all these stories I have from this game. And I'm sure if you asked another Sea of Thieves player, they would have completely different stories. So what you would mainly do when you log on, you'd probably go and grab just a random ass quest, maybe just go and find a bit of buried treasure. On the way there, you'll probably go past an island and see some at Sparkling. So you're like, you know what? Let's go and check that out. You might find some more treasure. You might find another quest. There might be a skelly army that you kill and you can get some loot from that. And this will keep happening. Eventually you will finish maybe one of your quests and you're like, all right, we've got to turn in all this loot before an enemy ship comes and sinks and takes it all. So you want to go to an outpost and you want to sell this and then you will gain some gold. Um, gold can be used to buy new outfits, equipment, weapons, numerous of other stuff. Um, and also you're going to get some reputation for the group you sold it to. So there's, a, there's different groups. You've got like the gold hoarders. I can't remember the top of my head what they're called. Merchant. Um, some creepy school leader but once you reach level 50 in three of these uh, you'll gain the title of pirate legend and join the top players that's what you're kind of all aiming for now this is a grind this is a real grind to do this but it doesn't feel boring 
And that's mainly because every adventure is completely different. Like, the quest, it would all be the same, you know, X marks the spot, find a treasure. But every time you go out to do that, something new happens, you make memories, you have a laugh, like, it's always fun. Like, for example, let me give you some examples. The other night, me and my fiancé were playing, and we just wanted to uh, get some treasure chest, uh, just kind of get some more gold. But we ended up coming across a quest where we had to find parts of a map, and then once we completed the map, it would show us where this, like, vault key was. So we grab the vault key and we head to the island where this like secret vault's on. Unfortunately for us, there was a world boss on the island and there were players trying to fight him. And we were like, oh man, like this is going to be tough. We don't really want to fight all these people. We haven't got the, like, the equipment with us. So we thought we would just like sneak in the middle of them. We tried. We were getting shot by players. We were getting shot by these ghost ships. So we were like, look, we'll just abandon ship. We'll jump on, get on the island. We'll just go in the vault and see what we can carry ourselves. Now this vault was like timed, it opens up, it's full of treasure, full of gold, you have like a few minutes to grab as much as you can before the door shuts and you're locked in there forever, sort of like an Indiana Jones sort of deal. Um, we get back out and we're like, right, how are we going to sell this, Where, how are we going to get out of here? We found a random ass rowboat just chilling on the beach, so we got on the rowboat and rowed the hell out of there, nearly being squished by a ghost ship we were like inches away of being absolutely destroyed our adrenaline was pumping we were shouting we were hyped we were screaming but we made it to the outpost and we sold uh, a chest and we got some gold for it and this is kind of how all the quests end like you make your own stories and it'll, it'll be something that we talk about all the time like hey can you remember that time that we snuck in and got out on a rowboat we've had other incidences uh, with other players where we saw a player get sunk by a kraken so we sailed over there and the player was like in the water so he was like quick get on our boat help us fight him we he helped us kill the kraken and he was like oh my uh, loot's in the water if you if you take me back to shore we can split it and sell it and we did and he was really nice we've had um we was doing a fort once and two french dudes came along and they were like look can we help? Um, and we're like, sure. And they're like, we can split um, half and half if you want. And we're like, yeah. And we absolutely destroyed the fort because there was four of us. It's just every time you log on, something will happen. Something new happens. Like you may have a plan, but you won't be able to stick to it. That's why this game is so fun. Now, the stories I just told you uh, were mainly about the nice people. <laughs> the Sea of Thieves community is really decent. However, there is a lot of bummels. It's really hard to trust people in the game. The majority of the time they are looking, they are like, you know, coming out looking for blood. Uh, I've played solo a lot and I've literally logged on, no treasure, just got on my boat about to sail somewhere. And I've had a ship, a galleon full of four players and they've just attacked and sunk my ship for no reason. And it's happened a lot of the times and it does make you get really salty. But... It actually helps the game become better. Because of this, when you are sailing around on your ship and you see a ship or you see some sails on the horizon, you you have this feeling like, I wouldn't say panic or excitement. It's just like, hmm, what are they going to do? And you're sailing and you're always keeping an eye on them. You may stop at an island and you're on that island and then you'll go to like, I don't know, a little cliffside and you look out at the horizon again to see what where they are, what they're doing. And I'm sure they're doing the same to you. And it does add that little bit of thrill and excitement, I guess, to it. So let's talk about combat while whilst we're on this. So we've got like uh, combat with your character. That's kind of basic. You can pick two weapons. You normally have your sword and say your pistol. Uh, you can switch that for a sniper or a sort of shotgun. It's simple. It's safe. It's easy. You know, you can slash block. You can shoot kind of simple it's the ship combat that's a lot more interesting and you know we're pirates we want to be fighting on the ships there's it's just so many tactics you can use it's literally whatever floats your boat you can just be the one that just fires all the cannonballs at them you can be the one that shoots yourself out of a cannon trying to land on their ship and then i don't know throw in some fire bombs set their ship on fire you could swim underwater and climb up and sneak attack them without them knowing. You can chuck TNT off the back of your boat and hopefully they run over it and blow up. There's so many different ways you can fight and there's different strategies and tactics. And that's what the beauty about this game is. It's always whatever you want to do. You make your own stories and adventures. So let's talk about the visuals. It is gorgeous. I 
love, love, love how this game looks. It is my favorite game that I could just sit back and just look at the sunset and be like, damn, that is, that is beautiful. It does have that cartoony style, and, and I've said it before in a, another video, that works. It's crisp, it's vibrant, and it doesn't lose that like realism feel. It doesn't feel like, you know, you're playing a cartoony game. And that cartoony style actually helps the game run really well if, you know, you compared it to like some real life looking graphics. And you will find, you will 100% find yourself in awe of playing this game. Honestly, like I, I have a whole ass folder of screenshots from this game. I don't, I've never done that with any other game in my life. But I've, it's honestly, it's full, it's rammed full of screenshots where I've just gone, damn, I need to screenshot that or I need to screenshot this. Like, it is beautiful. So they do now have a store where you can spend real life money on stuff such as emotes, outfits, pets, news ships. Now, I know some people are going to be like, oh, no, microtransactions. I'm not going to play this. They've done it correctly. I don't have an issue with microtransactions. Number one, if the game's free microtransactions are normally necessary but this game you have to pay for so microtransactions are cosmetics only you do not have to spend a penny to play this game after you've initially bought it these are only cosmetics they will make you look amazing they'll make your ship look amazing um they you got emotes and stuff they will make you like stand out if you want but they will not affect the gameplay so that is the perfect way to do it now i've spent hundreds i've spent hundreds numerous hundreds amount of dollars on this game because i want to look like a badass pirate and i can honestly say i don't feel like i wasted any money um but yeah like i said you don't have to spend money at all but it does it does make you look pretty badass i'm not gonna lie all right so let's have a look at some of the issues i've just got a couple uh the first one is you don't really want to play this solo it can be done i've played solo pl like plenty of times um you just won't get the full experience and if you do come across an enemy ship, like an enemy player ship, you're probably not going to win. You, there's just not really a chance at all. And yeah, like I said, you're creating your own adventure and it's kind of hard to do that on your own. There's no one to share it with or laugh and joke around with. So I would highly recommend playing this with a friend. If you are lucky and you have more than one friend, lucky bastards, then um, I would definitely say play this with a full squad of four. That will be the ultimate experience you're going to have. So also, this game isn't one you can just hop on for, say, 20 minutes before bed. You're going to need at least two or three hours to really get going and get anything done. That's not an issue with me, and it won't be an issue for a lot of you. But if you are, you know, short on time, you just want a quick game, you know, like I said, before bed, before dinner or something, it's not going to happen. It takes 20 minutes just to load your ship up and sail to the next island. So you're not going to be able to really do quick games. So if you do plan on playing, make sure you've had your dinner. Make sure you're, you're all fueled up to go. Make sure you've had your ship before. And yeah, it's you're going to need a few hours to enjoy it. But there we go. Sea of Thieves 2020. It has improved by an absolute mile. It is so much of a better game than it was when it was released. It feels full of life. It's so much more enjoyable. There's so much more to do. The memories you make on this game, you could just talk about for hours. I would highly recommend playing this as long as you've got some friends so as you can definitely tell by this sea of thieves you get yourself a pass <laughs>